कर्कटे पूर्वफलगुण्याम तुसी काननोद्भवा पांडे विश्वभरा गोदा वंदे श्रीरंगनायकी दिश श्लोक टाक्स अबउट द ग्रेटने आफ् आंडा अंड द डीटेल आफ् हर अवतार इन दिस् वर्ल कर्कटे पूर्वफलगुण्याम इन द कर्कटमास विच इज दि आडिमासम इन तम पूर्वफलगुनी नक्षत्र विच इज पूर इन तम कर्कटे पूर्वफलगुण्या तुसी काननोद्भवा इन द फारेस्ट इन द गारडन आफ् तुसी प्लांट आंडा वाज बॉर्न आन द आस्टरीजम आफ् पूर इन द मंथ आफ् आडि पांडे विश्वभरा गोदा शी वाज बॉर्न इन द दिव्य देश श्रीविलीपुत्तूर विच इज सिचुवेटेड इन द पांडिया ना तमिलना इज डिफर सेग्रिकेटेड इन टू चोड़ना पांडना नड़ना तोंडना एक्सेट्रा देर पांडना वाज द प्ले रूल बै द पांडिया कि इन दैट किंगडम इन द श्रीविलीपुत्तूर दिव्य देश आंडा वाज बॉर्न एज द डाटर आफ पेवार इन अ गारडन आफ तुसी प्लांट तुसी काननोद्भवा पांडे विश्वभरा गोधा वंदे श्रीरंग नायकी शी इज विश्वभर she bears the whole world on herself since she is the avatar of bhumi pirati she is called vishwambhara here godam vande shriranga nayakim since she married lord ranganatha of shrirangam she has become the hostess or the lordess of shriranga so shriranga nayakim this is what the shloka says this andal has sung 30 songs called thiruppavai where she adopts the persona of a gopikas tri and emulates the gopikas who had performed the marhadi nonbu in the month of marhadi in brindavan in dwapara yuga andal was born in kali yuga but the gopikas at that when krishna was here in this world had observed this vratam called marhadi vratam katyayini vratam and andal now emulates that vratam in that in 10 songs Andal wakes up ten Gopikas trees and asks them to join her in going to Krishna, waking him up and doing service to him. In that context, today we must see the sixth song, which in the Tirupavai whole of Tirupavai is the eleventh song. Tachit karavai kanangal palakarandu, chetrar tira ladiya chennu sirit chayum, kuchhamon nilla da kovalaratham porkodiye. புத்தரவல்கோல் புனமையிலே போதராய் சுத்தத்து தோழிமார் எல்லாரும் வந்து நின் முத்தம் புகுந்து முகில் வண்ணன் பேர் பாட சித்தாதே பேசாதே செல்வ பெண்டாட்டி நீ எத்து குரங்கும் பொருள் ஏலோர் எம்பாவாய் இஸ் த சாங் தட் வி மஸ்ட் சி டுடே ஹியர் ஆண்டால் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு த கேர்ள் ஆஸ் கோவலர்தம் பொற்கொடி ஷீ இஸ் த டாட்டர் ஆஃப் அ கோவலா கோவலா மீன்ஸ் அ கவ் ஹர்ட் நவ் ஹவு இஸ் திஸ் கவ் ஹர்ட் இஸ் ஈ கிரேட் ஆர் இஸ் இ அ நார்மல் பர்சன் Andal says, "Kachu karavai kanangal pala karandu." There are countless cows in Brindavan. You can never finish counting them. They say that you can never finish counting the auspicious qualities of Bhagavan. Sankhya tum naiva shakyante guna ha dosha ascha sharnye na ha. It is not possible the, to count the auspicious qualities of Bhagavan because there is no end to them. There are infinite number of qualities, and so you cannot count them. similarly you cannot count the shortcomings of bhagavan also it is not because they are also infinite it is because there is not even one shortcoming or fault with him so gunaha doshascha sharanyanaha sankhyatam naiva shakyante like the auspicious gunas of bhagavan cannot be counted here also the number of cows in brindavan cannot be counted so next the question is can they be counted as groups this is one group of cows this is the next group this is the third group in such a way can we count the number of groups of cows andal says kanangal pala she did not say many cows she said many many groups of cows so we cannot come finish counting even the groups since the groups are also infinite katr karavai the cows along with their calves is one meaning the other one is katra kanraha irukkum bolude karavai these cows are still young but they are able to give a lot of milk so katru karavai kanangal phala karandu although there are so many cows this cow herd is capable of milking all of them single handedly karandu he does not expect a lot of people to help him this is the quality of bhagavan himself 
Bhagavan never expects help from anybody. When he creates this world, he does it alone. When he sustains this world, he does it alone. When he kills Rakshasa as Rama or Krishna, he is alone. So he does not need anybody's aid or he does not take help from anybody. Similarly, this person is a follower of Krishna. So he will try to emulate Krishna himself. So when Krishna is single-handedly capable of doing so many things, his follower, this cowherd also, is capable of single-handedly milking all these cows. Kachu karavai panangal pala karandu. Then, Shetrar thiral aliya shendru sheru chayyum. Shetrar means enemies. Thiral is their prowess. Shetrar thiral aliya shendru sheru chayyum. This person does not wait for the enemy to come attack him. He goes forward. If there is enmity, he performs a dharma yuddha. He goes first and he is the first one to strike. Also, Shendra Sherichayyum Kutramunrillada Kovalan. When someone does not have a weapon in hand, this Kovalan does not strike them. He fights only with people of equal prowess. He does not fight with someone who is weak. He does not fight with someone who does not have a weapon in his hand. So he performs a Dharma Yuddha. So with his enemies, he does a Dharma Yuddha and he milks all the cows of Brindavan single-handedly. This is what Andal says. Here the question is, why do these people have enemies in the first place? Devotees of Krishna should not have any enemies. Prakhlada was a devotee of Krishna. Prakhlada says, Paramatmani Govinde Mitra Mitra Katakutaha Sarvabhutatma Ke Tata Jagannathe Jaganmaye Paramatmani Govinde Mitra Mitra Katakutaha when Lord Krishna is residing within all of us as the Antaryami, then I am a servant of Krishna. You too are a servant of Krishna. Everyone here is a servant of Krishna. How can there be enmity between servants of the same person? So, we must not consider anybody as our enemies. This is the Upadesha of Prahlada. But here Andal says, this Kovalan cowherd is capable of finishing off all his enemies. So the question is, why does this guy have enemies? Andal there says, or the Vyakhyata says, Bhagavatas, devotees of Krishna do not have enemies at all. But when someone considers himself as the enemy of Krishna, he automatically becomes the enemy of Krishna's devotees also. When you listen to Krishna's greatness or we sing Krishna's praise, if someone cannot bear that, someone cannot tolerate that and they start scolding Krishna and abusing Krishna, then that person becomes my enemy. I should first try to go away from him. I should never stay there. Or if I am capable, I should talk to him and I should be victorious over him. I should be able to make him submissive. So, Shetrar Thiral Adiya, the enemies of Krishna are the enemies of his devotees. These people don't have any enmity on their own. Shetrar Thiral Adiya Shenna Sherichayyam Kutramun Rillada Kovalan. So, this cowherd is blemishless. He does not have any faults. Kovalardham Porkodi. This girl is the daughter of such a great cowherd. Kovalardham Porkodiye Puttaravalhul Puna Mayile. She is very beautiful. She is lean like a creeper. And when you say call someone a creeper, it means that they cannot stand on their own. Take any creeper, for example, the creeper of a pumpkin. It cannot stand on its own upright. It will either grow along the ground or it has to be woven around a tree or some pandal there. Similarly, this girl needs some support and that support is none other than Lord Krishna. So, Kovalardham Porkodiye Putcharavalhul Puna Mayile. She is beautiful like a peacock and she has good hair. She beautiful hair. Puna Mayile Podharai. Please come join us. What are we doing? Sutrat Tolimar Ellarum Mand. All your friends in this neighborhood have now gathered at your doorstep. Unin muttam puhundu. We are all standing in front of your house and Muhil Vannan Perpada. We have been singing the praises of Bhagavan. Muhil Vannan. He is dark hued. He has the complexion of a dark cloud since he is filled with Karuna, a cloud. When it has rain to give to us is black. When it has poured off all its rain, all the water that it has, it becomes white and it moves away, runs away quickly. Similarly, Bhagavan is also black because he has a lot of benevolence. Lot of karunyam in his heart. So, appadi patta shatta arthiradiya chenna sherichayyum kutramun nillada kovalaratham porkodiye puttaravalhul ponamayile podarai sutrat tolimar ellarum vand nin mutram puhundu muhilvannan perpada. We are all singing the praises of Bhagavan. But you are not coming. Shitrade peshade. 
there is no movement that I can see. You haven't even gotten out of your bed. Pesha de, you have even you haven't given a reply to us. Shelva Pandati, you must be so great, you must be so wealthy that you need not uh, reply to us at all. Or the other meaning is you are so great to us, you are precious to us. We consider you as our precious treasure. So please come join us. Chitra de Pesha de Shelva Pandatini Yetch Kurangum Purul. Why are you sleeping like this? Why are you not waking up or replying to us? What is the purpose? Don't you see how we are grief stricken being devoid of you? Don't you know how important it is to go meet Krishna quickly? So please don't waste time. Please come join us. This is what Andal says. And the important message that Andal says here is even though one is a Sharanagata. Sharanagata means one who has accepted that Lord Sriman Narayana is the only savior is a Sharanagata and that person need not do anything to reach Mukti. There is no need for me to make an effort to reach Mukti. Bhagavan is going to grant Mukti. But while I am still living in this material world, what should I do in samsara? I should do something that pleases my Lord. I am a servant. I have a Lord. My Lord Swami has said, I will deliver you of all these problems. I will take you to Moksha. I will grant Sri Vaikuntham. Now the only thing that is left for me to do is, I should behave in such a way that he likes me. For that, I should do whatever he has told me to do and I should abstain from doing whatever he has told me not to do. So, I will do all my karma. This person cowherd is milking all the cows. The question is, if he is a Sharanagata, why is he milking cows? Why is he going to war? He need not do anything. He must just sit and wait for Bhagavan to come. This might be the question. But Andal says, even a Sharanagata cannot stop doing his daily duties. He must continue to do them. But he must not think that I am going to get Mukti because I did this. I am going to do my Nitya Karma. For this, Bhagavan is going to grant Mukti. This is not the intention of a Sharanagata. But Bhagavan is going to grant me Mukti. Now, I need to please him in all ways possible because that is my nature. I, it is not that only if I please him is he going to grant me Mukti. He has already declared that he is going to grant me Mukti. Now, the only thing remaining is while I am still here, I try to please him in any way possible. So, all the karma anushthanam that we do, the daily rituals that we do, getting up, washing our heads, then doing aradhanam to Bhagavan, offering food to Bhagavan, doing sandhyamdhanam and other rituals, all this is not a means to attain something. It is just a way to please Bhagavan. That, that is what Andal tries to stress in this Pasharam. Next, in the as Andal called this person, Kovalartham Purkudi also joined the ranks of all these Bhagavatas and together they all went to the next house to wake up the next girl, Narchalvan Thangai, which we will see in tomorrow's Pasharam. For now, let us sing the praises of Andal, Srimathe Vishnu Chittarya Manonandana Hetave, Nandanandana Sundaryai, Godayai Nityamangalam.